If you've ever had a smart device you tried to connect to your home Wi-Fi and you were unable to do it and kept having failures, watch this video as it would help you connect to your 2.4 gigahertz uh, network. <laughs> Have you ever tried to connect a smart home device and no matter what you do when you get to the Wi-Fi connection it will not connect into your system and it happens over and over again well let me show you what I did it just keeps failing so mine was a very specific door lock and no matter what I did it kept failing so I finally, after checking with their customer service that was unable to help me, uh, I finally decided to look at my, uh, my router and mesh system, uh, which happens to be a Google uh, Nest system. It's a mesh system. And I couldn't figure out how to switch it between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now, that's really important because your smart connection usually requires a 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection, uh, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so, my smart plug, doorbell, light bulb, switches, all of them require 2.4. And I was unable to change between 2.4 and 5. So I knew that what I had to do in my case was use my ISP modem router, which I had disabled the Wi-Fi on it as I was using my third-party system. So the first step was to make sure you can get into your ISP modem settings. So you have to find whatever your IP address is for the modem. You could usually check with your ISP. Sometimes you could look at your modem. In my case, I was simply able to search online for my, uh, my ISP's modem uh, IP address. I input it into the browser bar, pressed enter, and it popped up. I logged in. I happen to have my login information for the administrator. Uh, sometimes it's the one that comes with it, uh, with it and you don't need to worry. It's uh, usually written on uh, your modem. And of course, if necessary, you could check with your ISP. So here's what I did. This is uh, my browser page here. And uh, I had already uh, logged in as an administrator and over here I came to wireless setup and you could see here I have it disabled and the reason is of course that I have a mesh system uh, that I use for my home Wi-Fi by the way I also have a direct Ethernet connection to my desktop uh, PC from the modem so anyway I was I have to enable it and once you enable it you just go through a system of steps so you need to enable, as I just said, your wireless services. And in my case, it was just to click that. Then once you're in, you go to the 2.4 gigahertz line and you'll have an SSID, which is the, uh, the name of your Wi-Fi network. You should make that the same as your third party uh, a router or mesh system and the reason is because that's what your smart devices all work on so you have to input your uh, SSID and password uh, as the same as your third-party router and then save it that's all Th then you need to disable your third-party router in my case I actually just unplugged it once I had it all set up I used my Ethernet connection to make sure things were okay uh, on my desktop PC, but not all of you will have uh, that as you may be using something that doesn't have an Ethernet connector. Now you need to make sure your ISP modem Wi-Fi is working and just test it on a device. Uh, a mobile device could be a telephone, could be a tablet, anything like that or your laptop. Smart, follow the smart device installation instructions step by step and it will connect. Uh, then after you're done,
please make sure that you re-enable your third-party router or mesh system. Disable the uh, ISP Wi-Fi. Keep your ISP IP address and login settings in a safe place because if, if this happened once, the odds are it'll happen again. But once you do this, you should be up and running and all set with your new smart device.